Today, we're going to shatter a myth. You probably grew up hearing that the Ice Age was a time of colossal beasts and untouched wilderness, where powerful mammoths, giant sloths, and saber-toothed tigers reign supreme. But what if I told you these very giants weren't just overcome by glaciations, asteroids, or volcanoes? What if the truth behind prehistory's most dramatic game inver is far more shocking, closer, and more personal than you can imagine? Get ready to discover how a species barely out of the caves became the most relentless predator our planet has ever known. This is the story of how we, Homo sapiens, left an indelible footprint of extinction that changed the face of Earth forever. It's an uncomfortable truth, revealed by the latest scientific discoveries, that will make you question everything about our place in nature. Do you want to unravel this mystery and understand the power our ancestors wielded? Then go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe to the Extinct Doc channel. Here, we're not afraid to confront the past to understand our present and future. Let's go! To understand this truth, we need to travel back in time to the Pleistocene, better known as the Ice Age, a period that stretched from approximately 2.5 million to 11,700 years ago. Forget the image of a sterile, frozen landscape. The Pleistocene was a vibrant mosaic of ecosystems, vast tundras, savannas, forests all teeming with life. The Earth's average temperature was lower, yes, but the climate swung drastically between glacial and interglacial periods. They were used to it. Megafauna faced and survived countless cycles of warming and cooling over millions of years. And on this grand stage, an impressive megafauna reigned supreme. We're talking about creatures that seem straight out of a fantasy movie. Woolly mammoths, giant sloths, saber-toothed tigers, glyptodons, and even cave bears. Magnificent creatures, perfectly adapted, who proved incredible resilience against the forces of nature. But something unprecedented was about to change everything. What was this new threat capable of bringing down titans that nature itself couldn't defeat? Between 300,000 and 50,000 years ago, the Ice Age world wasn't just a stage for giants. Different hominid species like the robust Neanderthals already coexisted with megafauna in Europe and Asia for millennia, hunting and interacting with these animals. However, the new player that would change everything, spreading across continents and leading to an unprecedented wave of extinctions, was us, Homo sapiens. Compared to the giants, we were small, Without saber teeth or overwhelming brute force, we were the rookie no one took seriously, but who carried a far more dangerous arsenal. A mind capable of innovating, planning complex strategies, and cooperating in large groups. This was our secret weapon, a lethal advantage that nature had never seen, especially in lands where no hominid had ever trodden before, like Australia and the Americas. Think of our prehistoric cheat codes, projectile spears, the ancestral sniper, lightweight spears with razor-sharp stone points, like the famous Clovis points, launched with atlatls, an incredibly effective tactic for killing from a distance. Persistence hunting, the marathon of death, pursuing prey for hours until exhaustion. We won the who gives up first game, exploiting endurance over brute force. Giant traps, the engineering of the kill, using cliffs, pits, and natural barriers to corner entire herds, true hunting engineering on a colossal scale. Fire as a tool and weapon, environmental manipulation, using fire to manipulate the landscape, burning vegetation to create pastures or to ward off predators, we began to dominate the environment even before building cities. 
Our intelligence and tools gave us an advantage that megafauna had never faced. They evolved with conventional predators, with claws and teeth, but not with a species that thought abstractly and had long-range weapons. We were the meta they couldn't overcome, the final boss, the ecosystem disruptor, and our impact, as we'll see, was brutal and definitive. But how did this intelligence translate into such destructive power? Okay, we had the weapons and tactics, but does that prove we eliminated the giants? For a long time, the scientific debate was like a game of climate or humans, as if it were one against one. But what the latest science reveals is something that challenges our deepest intuitions. It's crucial to understand, megafauna survived countless previous periods of warming and cooling. But this time, something was different. A 2024 study by Professor Jens Christian Svenning from Aarhus University in Cambridge Prism's Extinction analyzed hundreds of articles and confirmed that climate alone was not the main driver of these global extinctions. On the contrary, extinctions were severe in climately stable and unstable areas. This is not a coincidence. This suggests that the human factor was the decisive element that changed the game. The overkill hypothesis, proposed by Paul Martin in 1966, directly accuses us and the evidence is accumulating in fossils and data, making it increasingly irrefutable. Astonishing temporal coincidence. Most megafauna disappeared shortly after humans arrived on a new continent. Why is this correlation so startling to scientists? Research by Felisa Smith of the University of New Mexico in 2018, Science, concluded that size selectivity in extinctions, with the largest animals disappearing first, only appeared with the entry of humans. In Australia, between 65,000 and 44,000 years ago, approximately 82 to 90 percent of the giants disappeared shortly after the arrival of the first Homo sapiens. Research by Professor Gifford Miller of the University of Colorado Boulder revealed fragments of the giant bird Geniornis eggs with evidence of human cooking. In other words, Homo sapiens was literally eating these giant birds. Another study by Sonder van der Kars and team, Monash University 2017 Nature Communications reinforced that extinction in southwestern Australia around 45,000 to 43,100 years ago was not linked to major climate changes, but rather to imperceptible overkill by humans. In the Americas, human arrival around 13,000 to 15,000 years ago was followed by the extinction of 78 species in North America alone and 83% of megafauna genera in South America. Sites like Monte Verde in Chile show human occupation with megafauna remains. The Clovis culture in North America is associated with mammoth hunting. Naive and vulnerable prey these creatures had never encountered a predator like us. They had no instinctive fear of humans, nor defense mechanisms against our weapons and tactics. They were ecologically innocent. They couldn't predict us. They didn't know intelligence was the new threat. Direct and brutal archaeological evidence. Many sites show active hunting. At La Brea Tar Pits in California, Megafauna disappeared between 12,900 and 15,600 years ago, precisely when humans began to settle. But our impact went far beyond direct hunting. We were like primitive terraformers, altering the entire planet in ways that megafauna couldn't even foresee. An invisible game over was underway, and perhaps this is the most shocking part. Fire as a tool and weapon environmental manipulation. Our ancestors were masters of fire. They used it to manipulate the landscape, burning forest areas to create pastures which attracted some prey but had a brutal side effect. This changed habitats, fragmented ecosystems, and altered the soil. Studies by F. Robin O'Keefe and Team 2023 Science analyzing La Brea tar pits suggest that a warmer climate hunting, and human use of fire led to large wildfires. They describe a vicious cycle. 
the hunting of herbivores reduced vegetation consumption, increasing fuel for fire. Fewer giant herbivores equals more fuel for fire. And we lit the match. Competition for resources. With the growth and dispersal of human populations, we began to compete for essential resources, water, plants, and space. We were the unexpected competitor who occupied the best places, draining life from the environment. The cascade effect, ripple effect of extinction. The removal of a keystone species, especially large herbivores that shaped vegetation, destabilized the entire ecosystem. Other plants couldn't grow, other animals lost food or habitat. As Jens Christian Svenning explains, Large animals are crucial for ecosystem structure. Their loss causes drastic changes. It's like pulling a piece from Jenga. When the keystone piece falls, the entire tower collapses. And we were the ones pulling the pieces. Invisible diseases, the hyper-disease hypothesis. And what if, in addition to all this, we brought something even more insidious, a biological weapon we didn't even know we had? The hyper-disease hypothesis, advocated by researchers like Ross McPhee and Preston Marks, suggests that humans, as they migrated to new continents, may have carried pathogens for which local megafauna had no immunity. These populations, never exposed to such invisible biological bombs, would have been decimated. Researchers like Moran and Nickel 2017 identify anthrax and tuberculosis as potential candidates for diseases introduced in the Americas, with evidence in mastodon fossils. A disease that was harmless to us was a deadly plague to them, an invisible but devastating impact. It's wild to think that we, so small and seemingly insignificant at first, caused such a giant impact, isn't it? The final verdict in this millions of years old case? Are we guilty of megafauna extinction? The overwhelming majority of scientists today say yes, we played a massive and decisive role. It wasn't a single villain, but a lethal combination of factors. The climate already stressed megafauna populations, making them smaller and more fragmented. And then Homo sapiens arrived, the icing on the cake of destruction. We were the one-two punch. The constant pressure from a new, intelligent predator with advanced tools, group hunting tactics, and the ability to manipulate the environment with fire and perhaps with diseases was enough to push many of these giant species already on the brink of environmental collapse to extinction. It wasn't necessarily a deliberate mass killing, but our presence, our efficiency, and our ecological impact were an unstoppable force they simply couldn't endure. History shows us that coexistence isn't always an option in evolution. And if this is our history, what does that mean for our future now that we have even more power? The story of megafauna extinction isn't just a past tragedy. It's a dark and powerful reminder of the power humanity has always held even before cities and industries. It's proof that we, for better or worse, are the greatest force of nature this planet has ever known and our power comes with a giant responsibility. Like we have the power to change the game, so we need to know how to play it right. Today we face unprecedented environmental challenges. The lesson from the Ice Age giants is clear. Our actions, even the simplest, have monumental consequences. How about we use our intelligence to learn from the past and rewrite the future, preserving nature instead of destroying it? If you want to keep unraveling these incredible and at times uncomfortable chapters of our history, chapters that make us rethink everything about who we are and where we're going, don't waste time. Hit that like button, share this video with anyone who needs to know, and of course, subscribe to Extinct Doc and activate the bell, because our story is far from fully told, and we don't want you to miss anything. Thanks for sticking with us on this journey, and until the next video,